As someone who has a lot of things on their hands regarding working a full-time job, exercising every day, having a side hustle that they're also trying to build, and doing productivity coaching one-on-one, -on -one, I really have to prioritize my tasks. The thing is though, it's not like I do some sort of crazy method. What I do to plan my weeks is really simple and I'm gonna break down for you why that's the case in this video. So the entirety of this method is predicated on the system that I created that is minorly off of GTD by David Allen, which I like to call the TBP method. So TBP stands for time, bucket, priority. In life, when you have any sort of tasks, you have to do things at certain times. For example, appointments, if appointments come up, just how it is, if you have class at a certain time, that's when you have to do it. That's the first level of priority. Then the second is bucket. And in your life, you're gonna have a lot of different stuff. Right? If, if you don't have things that are like urgent, like random tasks that come up that are urgent, you need to kind of set your priorities in check, right? So a different way to think about it is not thinking about it by, is this a priority one task? Is this a priority two task? As the second layering of importance. First is time, but the second thing is what order of bucket do you have? So if you look in here, you can see that there's actually a way that I have things organized. So the task group is the section where I actually have the priorities figured out. So at the top of everything here, work is the highest priority, then side hustle, then exercise, housekeeping, scheduling reflection, social, and then school used to be where work was. So this is the order of what importance I give to different tasks and I actually have it color coded with my time blocking. So for example, at the top of mine is work. Cause if you're gonna do task management, let's be real, the most important thing is work. The second thing for me is the side hustle. The third most important thing for me is housekeeping tasks. The fourth most important thing for me is scheduling. The fifth most important thing for me is social stuff. That just is what it is. And regarding planning that kind of stuff, if someone says, let's meet at seven on a Friday, guess what? your social idea doesn't get lost. You don't lose all social interaction because of this method. It's like you take the time thing into account and then the rest of your time gets figured out. And the third part of this method is the priority system that you put in place. Now you all have probably heard of priority one, priority two, priority three. So if you get through the situation where you have two different tasks that are in the same bucket that you don't have a time assigned to, the last layer of defense to figure out what you need to do is priority. Because if it's a Priority one, that means it's important and urgent. If it's a priority two, that means it's important but not urgent. And if it's priority three, that means it's neither important nor urgent. So it's just kind of an idea for the future. And the only situations where you'll have to figure out which one to do first is if you have two things that are the exact same bucket, that are the exact same priority, and you didn't assign a time to them. So time blocking is a method where you basically take different buckets of your day and kind of like block out like what responsibilities you have. Kel Newport talks about it, Elon Musk does it. And for me, if you use the TBP method, you can utilize the buckets in your life and color code those buckets across your task management and your time blocking system and prioritize your tasks based on the amount of time you wanna to allocate to your different priorities. So whatever buckets are higher on the priority level, you should assign more time blocks to, which makes a lot of sense to me, considering if they're your priorities, you should prioritize your time towards those things properly. We can dive into my time blocking method to see what I'm talking about there. The setup that I have here allows me to allot however much time I feel is good in my discretionary time so that I can keep my life aligned with what my goals are. Obviously the side hustle is at the top of the priority list that isn't the time that I have to be working. Then you can see exercises next. And now while social and day to day activities may end up taking more time, if I have to do one over the other, I prioritize things in a sense that I really do gotta get that run in. However, time does take precedence. So if there's a social event that comes up, I'm gonna do the social event when it happens because that is a time sensitive thing and how this system works overall. Now you may be asking yourself, okay, but what do I then figure out what to do? Like, what do I, I have all these time different blocks, like, but when, what, what do I put where? How do I make that happen? I like the concept of the daily highlight by Jake Knapp and John Zaratsky. I think it's a great idea. Essentially, you figure out what's the most important thing you want to do for that day and then work back from there. And you do that thing and after that, everything's cake. What if we started further back in the funnel and then work towards that? I like to do something called the weekly highlight. So for me, I actually have batched my entire YouTube stuff into in a different weeks, right? So for me, let's say my goal is I want to make four videos a week. So how do I work back from that? How do I make each day a part of the weekly highlight? So I can be like, Ah, that was a good week. Because like, yeah, it's great to have a good day. It's even better to have a great week. Now, some weeks you need to adjust. You need to say, okay, well, this week I can only really make two videos. This is the amount of time I have. So how do you then work back from there? 
and then you utilize the time blocks that you have and you assign the tasks into that highlight. So we say, I wanna make four videos in a week. I gotta work back from there and say, okay, I need to record on these days. I need to edit on these days. And that daily highlight becomes a different part of the weekly highlight that then makes your entire week a nice and accomplished week. So now what you can do is make a task list that works for you in priority order. And you can do this with anything. So for me, I even have it for Rise Productive where if it's it's time sensitive and then based off of different things. So my task grouping in Rise Productive is that content's most important, then projects, then system improvements. And that's actually the orange situation going on with my Calendly link because that's in consulting and coaching call. So with that being said, you can see how content takes the most priority. Administrative is the purple here. And that's why plan weeks more administrative. System improvements is the green that you saw. And this is actually time blocked and color coded. So I have this task management in a priority sense that it's time based. And then after that, it's priority based. So it's sorted, but the date is ascending and then the sub bucket is ascending and the priority is ascending. So you can see I even have a subsection under here where all of these are color coded to the overall project. And then all of those under that are as well. Operations being a plan week, sales funnels being projects, and then we have all these different things being content. So if you work back from your weekly highlight with your daily highlights and have this priority system, you can figure out a test list that works for you. So that's pretty much how I plan my weeks. Uh, I don't think it's crazy insane. However, it has been a part of my brain for like three years now. Check out this next video to see how you can improve your productivity even more. And I'll see you in the next one.